Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra timeless channeled messages reading. Uh, this is going to be for any placement of Libra and everyone is welcome here. Let's start out with some Oracle cards. Please remember these are general, not personal readings. The messages you hear me say uh, are going to be randomly specific. Okay. So they may or may not be your message specifically, but you can usually tell by the comments that it was someone's message. All right, let's see what we get. Your intuition, Libra, always knows best. Do what's best for you in your situation. Goblins, card five, and mountain, card six. Okay, I'm picking up on some fear here and something of the unknown. All right, so this is, um, I'm getting very much a nine of swords energy. Whatever this is that you're dealing with or going through, it is a beast. All right, um, it requires a lot of uh, bravery here. and it's not just bravery. It's going to test your stamina, Libra, in a lot of ways. Okay, whatever this is, it's testing your stamina. All right, let's see what else we have here, Libra. This is just the introduction portion here. I do go into messages from the departed specifically as well. All right, and they come in throughout the reading. Move your body. That came out in a pre-shuffle, Libra. And then we have change and transition here with Archangel Azrael. Hello, Archangel Azrael. All right, so this is, we're going to be, um, now, you'll notice there is that thunderbird here on the chest of Azrael. Uh, we have, thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. So there is some big transition here, absolutely. And as I said, there's some, whatever it is you're facing or going through now, it is a beast. Um, there's no way to cut corners. It's like, whatever it is, it's, it's a, it could be um, coming through as like a, it was, is, or will be some sort of big challenge. Um, making sure that you are connecting to whatever does ground you and um, calm you. Because I am, like I said, I'm getting almost like a nine of swords sort of energy where you could be spinning around in your mind, uh, going around in circles with something. Okay, Libra. Um, I just heard something about needing to vacate the premises. So you may need to leave something. Um, it could be figuratively, literally uh, leaving behind old ways, thought patterns, that sort of thing, or literally having to leave a space that you are in. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. So how can you go about cleansing your energy, protecting your space, um, protecting your, your peace and well-being, you know, keeping harmony as much as you can with whatever, with whatever it is you're, you're um, working through, going through, facing at this time. There's something here about, um, well, I'm getting a crossed over loved one who was considered like a pillar of strength in the community. Um, they could have been connected to um, religious, um, in a religious organization or uh, politics or just like a really, like a very giving person in the community. Someone who was a, a very, um, you know, highly regarded citizen in the community. So they're, they're coming through um, as someone that you maybe have been related to. I'm hearing the name as well, like Ogden or Olga, Olgan, so there's a name like that. And I have two cards here, an Ace of Swords and a Four of Chalices, also known as the Four of Cups. Beautiful um, Ace of Swords here uh, for clarity here, right? So there's something true here. There's some sort of new beginning, breakthrough, revolution. Uh, there's something that there's going to be very pointed communication that's necessary during this time, Libra as as you do deal with something that um it could be just something that's so new to you uh it could involve your body in some way libra it could actually involve going somewhere you've never been um there's also something about by chance just by chance you happen to come upon this opportunity too for some of you four of cups okay maybe you know not really you know for some of you i'm actually getting like four of swords off this four of cups it's sort of like needing to have that solitude and that rest as you go through this transition you need that time to reflect here libra you do not have to take what's what's your what you're offered this is your choice you do not have to just um accept something okay you don't that's that's coming through very clearly here there's a lot of um 
this is an interesting deck. I haven't used it in a very long time. So there's, there's a lot that comes through with this particular deck. Oracle cards do certainly help uh, with it. So, because for me, it's always a story anyway. It's never just a card in, in isolation. Hmm. There's an away we go. I'm hearing an away we go. So are some of you traveling? I'm also picking up on San Francisco right now. Keep moving forward, Libra. We have Bat Spirit here. This is a new deck I'm using. It's the Tea Party Invitation deck by Britta Bowman. Hmm. Mm. You could be getting a new perspective too on something. Somebody like something's like kind of, I'm getting something like you're hammering away at something. Uh, you might be chipping away at something bit by bit. Um, let me see here. Treat yourself. Okay. Again, you don't have to take just what you're offered. Go for something better. Go for, you know, what exactly it is that you want. Uh, you could be feeling as though you're in a very dark, desolate, and lonely place right now, some of you. Um, and, and one way to get out of that is to connect to what it is that you do like. Again, um, do things that help you feel more light hearted, light on your feet sort of thing, light mentally, you know, uh, but also that can be sort of grounding. So an example might be, uh, you know, being near water, being in water or something that's coming up right now. So express yourself to Libra. That is going to help you during this situation. And some of you, it has been quite a climb, quite a hike. But you have not backed down. You're not going to. Let me just see. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Okay, flying. Yeah, there is this energy of uh, here we are with this energy flying here, card 20 and wide open. That makes me think of this mountain here. So let me see. We'll see what else this says. This is very interesting energy, Libra. I'm just going to tell you. it's um, There's a lot going on. And I think it's because I'm picking up on just multiple stories right now. Um, they, I just really need to sort of get down to the, to the bottom of all of this. Okay. <laughs> so let me, let's get into, um, into some other tarot to do that. All right. So we've got some clarity here there. You're going to want proof of something, or someone's going to ask you for some kind of proof. Mm -hmm. mm. Treat yourself to some nice food, maybe if you can, some time outside, even, uh, going to you know, a, a store and getting yourself some store-bought flowers or whatever it is, or spending time around flowers. If you can't buy some or don't want to buy some yourself, going somewhere maybe near a garden. I mean, I'm also picking up on herbal tea. I'm picking up on people finding, a, a, like, a, there's something about herbal astrology. Now, I know that's an Oracle card deck, so maybe um, you just purchased it or something, and I don't work for anybody or whatever. So um, I have that deck myself, but there's something about herbal astrology. There may be some sort of like um, a moon recipe or something that is for like the um, for the lunar eclipse in Libra uh, that just happened. That kind of energy. There's and we're in the eclipse season, so you may be doing something with herbs, with teas, or or something or moon magic or something like that, Libra. That's coming in right now for some of you. So and it's actually sort of like a happy light energy. Uh, that maybe you're having fun testing out, you know, different aromatherapies or or uh, herbal remedies or something along those lines. So that's an interesting one. I'm getting the name Coco as well. I heard Roxanne, Roxana, and Mario. Okay, I remember the game Super Mario Brothers, right? But their name Mario is coming in. And you have the King of Swords. Now it's right on top of this Express Yourself card, Libra. So I... Again, there's going to be so, a need for some pointed communication is what I'm getting here, okay? Pointed like the bat's ears, all right? Pointed. Um, you know, and bats, you know, bats are misunderstood. People seem to be afraid of bats, but uh, I've, I've always liked bats personally. I don't want them in my hair, of course, or anything like that. But, um, you know, they were almost, well, at least where I am, they, they 
it's taken a while for the bat population to come back after that. I think it was white nose disease or something like that. But anyway, bats have to do with initiation, according to Ted Andrews. They have to do with like uh, a change, a new beginning. And you always see that too with that, that ace of swords, that new beginning. So this is you trusting your instincts. All right. Look for the hidden implications around you. All right. You don't want to get carried away too much. Don't allow yourself to be carried away too much. You yourself, again, it's like you're going to have to make this decision. You're, you're the one going through whatever it is that's going on right now. You're the number one for that. Be open to um, options and, you know, um, assistance even from unexpected places. You may not be seeing this um, like clearly uh, right now, you might not be seeing uh, all of your options and that's, you're not supposed to see all of your options, Libra. This King of Swords right here, people are putting their trust in, in his word and his communication. They're, they're, um, it's sort of like, you'll see there's the Ace of Swords, here's the Ace of Swords. The King of Swords has, um, is, is one where they not, you know, they're very great at communicating, all right? Um, but they can come, sometimes this energy can come off as a little bit harsh, um, a little bit uh, removed uh, emotionally or whatever. So you could be dealing with that sort of energy right now, um, your own or a person or something. But, but, but all in all, though, they actually really are uh, very skilled at what they do. So uh, it's like, sort of like with this bat, like it's all kind of about perspective, you know, and, um, and, and. The, again, like choosing the direction you want to go and making sure you're having a chance to express yourself as much as anyone else, but actually probably even more because of this transition. Now, Azriel is over here asking me to come back. Oh, okay, so what do I need to know about this? Show me, please. Okay, some of you are, um, you're, you're actually, you're, you're rising, you're feeling yourself actually as some sort of resurrection sort of energy for this. There's something about maybe someone was trying to control you or expect you to chase them or an opportunity. And that has stopped. It's like halt. I just heard halt. And, uh, as you've made some improvements, it's, it's as though mm, there's no longer these, uh, spiritual shackles, if you will, or like, um, uh, you're not, you don't have training wheels anymore. Okay. You're, you're now able to release yourself and take flight. You were maybe in this stage before where like, you know, the butterfly in the chrysalis, the moth in the cocoon where you weren't quite ready, but I'm getting this, there's a big shift coming in here. And now that, that, you know, the eclipse season can certainly help with this. Of course, maybe by April 8th, by that total solar uh, eclipse, you will have this sort of, um, absolute clarity. You will have taken that next step into a new month and into a new period. When you do that, Libra, there is going to be sort of that ace of pentacles arrival, that arrival of a new opportunity, which may allow you to be able to treat yourself. Maybe some of you are getting a, a refund or a bonus or something, but make sure you're being open to the possibilities, all the possibilities that, that spirit, uh, for how spirit can help you. Um, somebody has icy cold eyes there's something about there's a coldness in somebody's eyes again it could be like a sword kind of cold sword kind of energy like when the king of swords is in you know say reverse or something um but but there is this you're you or someone you know there you're they're dealing with somebody who has a very icy intense eyes piercing eyes um or you're a Libra who's on that Scorpio cusp, or you have, there's something about your eyes and people might guess your sign and they always say Scorpio, but you're not, you're a Libra, but maybe you're like close to Scorpio. I don't know. Um, so there is something about that. I heard Dan just now, Dan. Luana. Ooh, what is, okay. So I follow my heart. Yes. All right following your own heart. That's Libra energy card 39. So no matter how much something hurts Libra, you are staying true to you, to your convictions, your intentions. And then we have um, card 31. I speak highly of myself. Make sure that you're, you are telling yourself things like you are worthy. You are valuable. You are safe. And it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to accept help. Um, you don't have to have all the answers, Libra. And sometimes we're not meant to know everything right up front. Okay. And you reveal your own truth. And that's card 13. You, you do this in your own divine timing, Libra. All right. Um, because sometimes when we express ourselves too early, um, 
we, we leave too much space and room for other people to kind of insert their energy and it's not exactly helpful sometimes. Okay. You know, we've all been in situations like that where we told somebody something and then we immediately wish we could take it back because maybe we weren't quite ready for other people's energies to be involved in it. All right. So, um, I heard something now about snack cookies or crackers. Maybe some of you just found a snack you're super stoked about or something. I don't know. Do people say still stay super stoked? I don't know. I just said it. So that could be something that you say. I'm kicking up on uh, Rhode Island as well, Rhode Island. And also uh, I'm getting something about Danby, Danby, uh, like a name maybe or a place, a location, street even. Um, there's something too about this. Uh, there's a warehouse. I don't, maybe you work in a warehouse or you have a storage unit and you're getting one or closing it down or you need to go check on it. There's something there. If you thought you should go check on it, the advice here is go check on it. If you were thinking you should, that you probably should. Not that anything's bad, but just um, that's a message for somebody to go do that if, if you feel that's right. Um, pillar of light. Oh, my goodness. I was getting a pillar of light from this card. And I said like a pillar of strength or something in the community. Remember earlier? This is your vibration rising, okay? You are, in fact, the Oracle Libra. Oh, I love this. Yeah, you are indeed the Oracle. All right. Um, I know you can't see all the cards perfectly, so we'll be moving things. I just don't like to cover her eyes there. I'll see if I can move some things up a little now that you've seen them a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Moving on, moving on, moving on, I'm hearing. Moving on, moving on. Okay. Um, don't, um, hmm. not dwindling, not dwelling. All right. Let me get a card on that from this deck here. All right. Let's see jam-packed of emotion. Some of you are feeling very emotional at this time. Now, why, why is that? I'm hearing Lisba, Lisbeth, Lisba. Um, some of you, it's surgical or it's chemical. Okay. Only take what resonates. Decide. Oh yeah. All right. So that, you know, the King of Swords is very decisive energy. Yes. And that is also tying into express yourself. So um, this is about you possessing inherent wisdom, a deep connection to the flow of the universe. You are indeed that pillar of light Libra. So listen to the quiet voice within that guides you toward the right decisions and actions. Again, you're having that space to go into your heart center and, and really kind of, um, you know, see, like, feel what you feel. All right. You need to feel what you feel. All right. Feel what you feel in order to heal it. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have Libra. You have, I, we have, I am listening to my intuition and being guided every step of the way. Yes, you are. Now also you have turn criticism into kindness. All right. So you or someone else is like you're close with, um, is going through something right now. I feel like for, this is only for some of you. I'm also getting, it's funny. I'm seeing like lavender, but I'm actually getting the name lavender. So that could actually be someone's name or leva, something like that. All right. So there's something here about, uh, I'm also getting, um, okay, no, well, not saying that. Shores, shores, shores. All right. So um, you could, they or you are going through a, a difficult decision um, of some kind or a difficult time. Um, it could involve an illness or something too. And um, it's sort of like having that compassion for yourself as you would for others. And it's also, um, you might be asked to show compassion for somebody that, and you don't necessarily agree with what they're doing though, but you kind of need to be there. So you could find yourself in sort of a tricky situation in that way, Libra, um, where you're kind of like a source of support, but just because you're a source of support doesn't mean that, um, you necessarily, uh, like fully support what they're doing or what they've said or something. There's something along those lines. Okay. And I have a time out has been called. Life is on pause so you can catch your breath. Hmm, interesting. I was actually just starting to feel out of breath. Okay, so I'm picking up on the month of September as well. Maybe that's when you were born or something happened. Okay, I'm also getting September 5th in particular. Um, I'm picking up on someone needing to go for mental health services inpatient. All right, I am picking up on that. And that is not at all to be offensive. I don't find that to be offensive at all if you need to go get help or someone you know or love needs to go get help somewhere. That's just like, for me, that's something that's been normalized in, in, um, in, you know, my experience, like, you know, working with people with mental health stuff and, and, uh, my own family stuff and all that. And it's just like, if you need to go get help, you know, then that's what needs to happen. And it's too bad that 
society still doesn't have a very good understanding of that and they do kind of place judgment on that so that could be something you're dealing with or this could be that situation i was picking up on um, where sometimes people just especially with mental health disorders or other disorders that they cannot visually see they tend to um you know judge a little more or maybe say less than kind things because they don't understand really it's just from a place of not knowing um it can come out as cruel you know it can and sometimes people are cruel but Keep your vibration high, though, okay? Because you are rising. You are, in fact, that oracle. And spirit guidance, co-creation. I believe you just had this not too long ago with me, Libra. And we have um, your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist and help you evolve into your authentic self. The time is now to see yourself as a spiritual team as your team sees you, all right? So they're asking you that you remove anything um, self-limiting. Make sure you're speaking very highly of yourself in your head and out loud, all right? They're asking you to, um, to maybe try out some more meditation or just, again, that solace that you can find on your own and ask for signs, okay? And be specific, specifically. If, if you're not sure about what the signs are trying to say to you, ask specifically, what is it that you want me to know, Spirit? Please show me in such and such a way. Maybe sometimes you do have to get more specific because maybe you're not getting, or just ask for them to send you signs and symbols that you will, in fact, without question, without a doubt, know what it means, that they communicate to you uh, in a very clear way that you will, in fact, be able to accurately, uh, correctly interpret, okay, for your greatest and highest good. I kind of always like to add that little rider, you know, for the greatest and highest good. Embracing solitude, Libra, you keep getting this, okay, again, I'm just so drawn to this um, four of cups here uh, in this in this reading today, Libra. It seems to be very prominent, okay? So this is embracing your solitude. So when you're engaging with your thoughts and feelings in solitude, and this could be near water, as I said, I keep getting that. This is about you embarking on a spirit or on a spiritual journey, basically, of uh, personal evolution and self-acceptance. You could find the number seven is sticking out for you. I want to point something out. We now have five, six, seven. Now that is definite pro, uh, progression, all right? And then you have cultivate patience. So this is going to allow you to soothe some sort of inner turmoil, uh, release expectations and embrace a sense of calm and acceptance. And Libra, we have to be wide open though, all right? I know it can be difficult just sort of standing there waiting, you know, uh, but it, it's sort of like um, <laughs> be open and, 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 and um, you know, and be ready to, um, to, to, uh, well, accept, I guess you don't have, cause you don't have to accept everything that comes your way. That's part of your message here, Libra, but it's like, be willing to accept that divine guidance when you feel ready, be willing to, um, accept, um, a solution or something that you hadn't thought of that might seem sort of out of the box way of thinking. You have, have fun here. Stop. You know, when was the last time you had fun? Really Libra? When was that? Okay. This is about, you know, making something uh, silly. Um, maybe you're cheering that other person up if there is something like that going on. But this could be that you feeling long overdue to get out of your sort of head, your mental space here. Okay. Give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Okay. And with that, we have you're changing and transforming into something better. They're telling me go right over here. Oh, all right. Now we're going to get some messages specifically from the universe. These are all messages from the universe, but this is the name of the deck. So, all right. Oh, so if you're worried you don't have the strength to move on, Libra, think of how much strength you're using to hold on, then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. All right. So it's kind of like if you're holding on to something or someone um, and you're trying to make that, that big decision here, um, it's taking a lot of energy to stay in that sort of mode. Um, most like I said, like spinning. Um, so whatever you can to try to, you know, move the energy along and uh, get yourself to a place where you're feeling, um, you know, more prepared or, or more uh, from a place of like being able to make that decision. Um, you're, so don't push yourself to exhaustion, basically. All right. Enjoy yourself in between the hard work. Give yourself a break from your own, um, you know, anal analysis, basically. All right. Um, usually I do get three questions here from uh, angels. So if think of three questions you'd like to ask the angels right now, Libra. And I'll pause the video. Whoops. We're not taking those. Okay, I'll pause the video. So I'll do like, you know, ask your angel question. Now, Libra, this is again, it's just a general reading and it's, um, it's, you know, for entertainment, but it may be confirmation for you in some way that, you know, it came up in this reading too. And maybe you got another indication of that. So go with your gut, but here's what the angel 
um, or as the angel is just saying right now. Um, question one for you, Libra. Look for a sign. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, look for a sign. There it is. All right. Look for a sign. You're unstoppable. Your dreams are possible. All right. So definitely yeah, look for a sign there. Look for a sign. Oh, we're getting one of these now, too. And don't doubt that I'm with you. So that may tie in. That may tie into the message you were asking. So don't doubt that they're with you. This could be from a crossed over loved one for sure. Next question for you, Libra. Ask your question. And listen to your intuition. Wow. So you really like I said, you're, I'm getting Kimball right now, Kimball. And you didn't have to. Um, oh, OK. So I'm hearing someone say you didn't have to go so soon. You didn't have to go so soon. Mm, OK. <sighs> oh, all right. Sending you hugs out there if you need that. Some energetic hugs for you. OK, so. Um, Listen to your own intuition, Libra. A message coming in with that is make room. Create space to welcome the positive change into your life. Let go of everything, anything that doesn't align. This is wolf spirit, Libra. Wolf spirit, okay? Because you are co-creating with spirit, all right? You're co-creating with spirit. You've got to make some room. Be wide open. Be receptive, all right? Somebody may feel as though um, I'm getting something about a polluted airway. So this could have to do with, you know, uh, asthma, uh, pollutants in your environment. It can also have to do with um, just being around a very like stuff, stifling, stuffy kind of energy. Maybe someone not being very helpful in some way with you. Um, and they're just sort of like in your space and they're convoluting things or whatever. And they're just not adding positivity. So there could be something going on there if you're feeling like that's happening. Okay. And then we have, I don't, okay. So this, so whoever the, okay. So some of you need to know, and it could be tied into this. Uh, I didn't want to be sick anymore. So some, I could have been just picking up on someone having breathing issues or something and they passed over and they're letting me know they didn't want to be sick anymore. Okay. That could be what, what happened there. Um, that I was, you know, cause I just had heard about a polluted airway or something. So that could be that there was some sort of difficulty breathing. This person also could have had, um, emphysema or something like that. Okay. COPD or something. Um, I'm not really super familiar with with all that. Um, but let's see, I'm also getting Aries, Aries. That could have been somebody's name of a dog or something. Some of you maybe have named your dog or you're even I'm hearing Curtis now too. And I hear Edward Rad Radley or something, but, um, there's something, uh, Eduardo. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Um, there's, there's something here about, um, I don't, it doesn't want to come out. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Let's keep going. Nope, it's not coming out. Interesting. Sometimes it'll stop, start. It's almost like something else moves in. You want to clear the slate? Somebody's wanting to, literally, they're actually, somebody's wanting to clear the slate. Oh, I know. They're saying I could say it now. They wanted to first say, you need to clear the slate. It's okay to reset, re, re, relive, re, live now, live again, live again. Okay. Some of you need to, to hear that. Live again. It's okay. You have their permission to live again, live again, love again, be, be, be how you want to be. Okay. Um, Okay, so the other thing is somebody named their pet an astrological sign, or that was their nickname, okay? There's some sort of something like that. You may have a crossed over pet named Libra, who knows, or or Venus even. It could be a planet, all right? So it could be a planet or something, or a, uh, an astrological sign even, okay? So you have the third question, Libra, I forgot to say, there's let go. So they, uh, you know, I feel for some of you, it's like allowing yourself to let go of grief here. What do we have on top here? Forgive yourself. Oh, Libra. I wasn't even going to use this deck and they just, I love spirit. They thank you so much, angels. Um, so here we are. We have forgive yourself. So whatever it is you were holding on to, let it go. Forgive yourself for you, Libra. You do that for yourself. And as selfish as that may sound, yeah, maybe you don't want to forgive the other person. Fine, don't. But make sure you're not, you know, keeping yourself trapped and stuck in that energy. We talk about this a lot on this channel. I am trying to comfort you. You do have others on the other side trying to comfort you. Uh, this is actually an animal, okay? So some of you have an animal. And, uh, oh, and I just heard something about Christ the King or something. Christ the King or Christ of King. All right. That could be a name of something, a church or something or school or something. There's something there. Um, some of you, it's like a medical emblem or something. Uh, maybe you're 
you, somebody was uh, in the medical field or something, okay, or maybe I'm thinking of like the staff of Hermes or something, but, but that's coming in, okay, it's a time for healing, but I'm also picking up on somebody being an RN or somehow in the medical field too. It didn't hurt a bit. If somebody is wondering if there was pain, it, um, it did not, no, there was not pain for that. There was not. It didn't hurt a bit, I'm being told. And I want to, and someone, I feel like I'm getting a female energy back. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt a bit. Or they're telling me for you, like it's, it doesn't hurt a bit. It's not going to hurt a bit. Like if you're nervous about having a medical thing, it's, 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 you're going to be okay. That's what I'm hearing right now. But now Libra, I'm not a medical professional. Okay. I always have to say the disclaimer here. Okay. It's written in the description box, but take what resonates Libra. Okay, and I was so lucky to have you. We're getting this. Somebody loved, they, somebody had the sweet tooth here. Somebody had the sweet tooth. All right. Um, sweetie. Somebody, oh, there's also the nickname Sweetie over here for somebody else. But there's a, Wildred. I'm getting Wildred. I've never heard that name. Wildred. That's coming in. Take this new beginning, Libra. Plant the seed. Let it grow. Watch it grow. You can do this, Libra. Whatever this is, you can, you can do this. Let's see what we need to surrender to, though. That's always a great question. Let's see. What do we have? Surrender to attachment to results. That's the thing I was saying earlier about, you know, um, I just heard clear the campus. Okay. So um, I don't know if some of you are teachers and you just had something where you need to clear campus or something, but I'm actually, or if we're going to find out in recent events, I really, I pray that everyone is safe and, and okay, obviously. Um, but I just heard that, like, clear the, clear the, oh, clear the, clear the campus. So. Okay, so something's going on there, Libra. Or I don't know if someone passed over in a situation like that. Wow, Libra, I'm getting a lot of crown chakra activation. There's something going on there with that, okay? So, um, okay. So again, I, I really, I'm, I'm going to be praying that, some, that, that things are okay with regard to that situation if it's something that has not actually happened. Because actually, I don't like receiving messages like that. But um, So I don't want to startle anybody, but um, I'm picking up on that energy, either past, present, or future of uh, that sort of like clearing the halls, clearing the campus or something like that. Okay. So um, it could have been also at a medical facility. They had to clear something. Okay. Are there sick, clear, like um, somebody's heart need to be restarted too. Okay. Like, okay. Oh, really? I just, so I've never heard this in a reading, but I heard jaws of life. And I'm pretty sure that's uh, when you have to be like taken out of your, your like car wreck or something like that. Um, and they use the tools or whatever. So there's something about that. But there's also, it's also metaphorical Libra, like the jaws of life. I mean, that could be, you know, feeling as though, uh, you know, like life's gripping you and it's holding so tight and like maybe you feel kind of trapped or something in energy, but, but, um, but it's actually more like, um, it's like it, and like you have the key, you have the key. For some reason, they're wanting me. I don't know if some of you have some of you had training where you have where you know how to get out of certain holds. Like if someone were to be biting you or something, you know that you're you stick your knuckle into like a side of their jaw and you turn it like a key and it helps release the jaw. So uh, that is super specific for somebody, but some of you have had training. Maybe you had to like manage. Um, adults or something who, who may have had, uh, you know, uh, certain, certain disabilities or something or uh, neurological differences where um, they may be bit, you know, they, they, or they would sometimes act out, okay, and you had to physically manage or support them. So I'm getting something here about um, turning that key. I don't know if I'm picking up on a bite of some kind, if, like if an actual bite or whatever. Um, they're telling me to clean your wounds. <laughs> Like, make sure you're keeping up on that. Okay, so that's interesting. Some of you need to actually go through your first aid kit, I'm hearing. They're telling me a lot of medical stuff today. Interesting. So I don't know who of you has that training or has cro someone's crossed over or whatever. Uh, I just heard Aunt Diane, too, for some of you. So this is interesting. But um, there's something about, like, making sure you go through your, uh, your first aid kit. Make sure things aren't expired. Maybe you just did that or you bought a new one, and that's why I'm getting that. But for some of you, it's something like that. And then they, they go right into... And what about those smoke detectors? So like the batteries and things. So there's a lot of like safety stuff here, Libra. Um, you know, I don't know if you're feeling uh, unsafe in some way or whatever. Um, I certainly, I certainly hope you're all feeling safe. But you know, obviously, if you're not, um, that that needs to be addressed. Okay. Um, and there are some things that we can control and some that we can't. So do what you can, obviously, to keep yourself safe. Um, 
this is a strange time energetically. I have got to say, um, you know, the eclipse season and also just like the spring. And then the, I always find this time of year to be very interesting. March is always like a maze. It's just really uh, an interesting energy. This March for me in particular, um, I don't know about you all, but, but March can be a tricky one. Let me answer this eclipse season and the new astrological year. And so there's just a lot going on right now for so many people that I know personally, and just, I feel like in the world. So um, please do what you can to take extra precautions, be extra aware, Libra. And again, not trying to startle anybody, but I do feel that that's an important thing for me to talk about today is making sure you're taking those measures, the precautions, making sure that um, you're taking any sort of safety um, you know, precautions you can take and that you're when you're out and about or wherever, um, that you're uh, aware, okay, that you're very aware. And even I just saw something about keep your big, if you, for those of you who carry a bag or a purse, keeping that zipped. And not just like unopened in public thinking, you know, you could safely walk or make sure you're keeping things like secured. So make sure you're securing your home, your car, your possession, your just everything. Okay. So just stuff like that. You know, it doesn't hurt to have those reminders. And I'm going to take heed of this advice as well. Wow. So uh, I asked what we need to let go of here. Surrender to attachment to results. And then I spoke about this. So let go, right? You had that let go card. Forgive yourself, let go, be wide open here. You, somebody's trying to comfort you, as I said. And, um, you know, the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. And then you have to let go of the results, right? So there are things, again, I was just talking about you have some control over some things, but then you don't over other things. So make sure you're not holding on too tightly to a desired outcome that could, in fact, sabotage it without you really realizing that you're putting that sort of uh, energy out into the world. We have radiate expand and navigate oh okay cool so let your light shine through growth is often uncomfortable and messy but it is in fact necessary don't be afraid to get messy this month or you know when you hear this read this whatever because i i'm saying you know march but it's a timeless message i'm just creating it and posting it in march but uh yeah so beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you yeah again you're somebody is really it could be archangel azrael maybe read up on archangel azrael if you're not familiar with that, or maybe the name Azrael or uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Okay. That's coming through too. Finances are coming through. Financial issues could be a factor in whatever's going on. So just as this is about like, you know, make sure you're, you know, you're clearing out debt, whatever, you know, I mean, just, you know, be mindful of finances. Okay. That's for, that was sort of, I didn't expect that to come out, but this is from the ascending life Oracle and has sort of practical tips. So, and then there, you could be having some new creative ideas at this time. Okay. Create. So what do they want you to, yeah, your worries are unnecessary, Libra, when it comes to the of these two cards here. And you are you made okay. So you made someone very happy. You were very you were like their everything, or they were yours. I think again, I I'm getting um. Well, I'm actually okay. And also, someone's telling me right now, stop fearing that you're an imposter. You really do have this. You've got this. You have the talent. You're just as good or better than the others. Okay, so just please know that. And I feel that could be tied to creative arts for some of you. Uh, it could be anything, music, dance, painting, whatever it is uh, for you. What else do I have here? I'm hearing the Carolinas or Carolina, the name. Okay. V oh, vast vistas, expand your horizons. You just have expand here. So you keep getting this message of expansion, expand, expand. Mm, let me see what else. I just want to take a quick listen here. So I might go quiet here for a second. So somebody, um, somebody may try to uh, pass you the envelope. They may try to give you a responsibility or they, I may be picking up on this already happening for you that, that um, they're trying to like pass it off on you, whatever it is. I don't know if it's a decision, if it's a blame, if it's um, a responsibility or something, but they're trying to pass that on to you. Oh, there's, okay, another version of this message, Libra, is it's like a living loved one wanting to talk to you about, or you, this just happened, maybe you lost someone recently, right? and they were, it's about you being responsible for like the finances or something with regard to that person. They may want to uh, pass their home on to you or pass their, they're passing something on to you. So this could be an inheritance, Libra, all right? If you've been waiting for that, this could be something about that. Okay. And I was seeing an envelope, an actual envelope. So this could be news on that word on that. You might get official word in the mail about receiving something, some kind of gift possibly. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Um, I'm hearing something about van tires, tires, the tires on the van, even. I just heard their tire, those tires are shot, like they're worn out or something. Um, maybe you're going to like a tire warehouse or something. You have a connection there because earlier I heard warehouse. Oh, what is this one? It's wiggling. I'm helping you with your family. Okay. There could be actually home repairs, physical home repairs that, that needing, needing to come in here. Okay. We have, it's coming. So. Okay, so hope, this is about hope being on the horizon. Uh, there could actually be something financial uh, coming up that's a little bit unexpected with regard to home repair or something. It could even be a vehicle. Um, or uh, some of you actually may be flat out buying a new car soon and you don't, really, you don't know it yet. <laughs> so, uh, but this is uh, hope on the horizon. In the face of challenges, remember, there is that nothing lasts forever. This is badger spirit. Uh, trust the universe has good things in store for you. All right, so... Um, Something that may seem like a not so great is actually coming through as, as, as a positive. All right. So with Badger, that's about self-reliance too. Okay. So that's about digging, digging beneath the surface here to get, to get answers. So a revelation could be coming as well as that sort of like a, uh, Ace of Pentacles kind of energy. So this is about learning to be comfortable with yourself and, um, and you know, your, you know, how you express yourself. I want to see if we get a few more, um, I, I would like to get just like some other, just quick tarot here, quick tarot using a different deck. It's the heart of the matter. It's the heart of the matter. There's this we're going to get. Oh, oh, Libra. Wasn't even going to go into tarot. Sorry for yelling in your ear. There's that Ace of Pentacles. There it is coming through. You have an Ace of Pentacles here. And a three of wands going out of that comfort zone there. But you're actually, that that opportunity you're waiting for, that's coming in. Okay. Yep. So yeah, some of you are getting that little bit of inspiration here, that little bit of, uh, you know, you, you weren't quite sure if it was going to arrive and then here it comes Libra. All right, here it comes. And, uh, you know, even it, it could just be an opportunity that arrives, not just money or, or resource of some kind, but like actual, um, like an opportunity that then you have to give it a thank you might involve, it might involve some sort of travel or something like that. Um, but whatever it is, it does inspire you to kind of hold your head a little higher and uh, grow into your confidence and stuff like that. And then we also have um, a Knight of Cups, a Tower, and um, a Two of Cups. Okay, so uh, I'm actually getting that there's there is someone from your past, a love uh, thing, could be romantic, may not be. There was some sort of... Um, well, I heard sort of like a, you know, you're getting like a clean start with them. If you want that partnership, um, there's been some healing or there will need to be some healing that goes on. So for some of you, uh, that is actually coming in. What a loved one say, extend your love to others the way you did for me. So for some of you, you may want to, you know, pursue this. Maybe you're the one seeing if someone else can, you know, if you can have that thing you wanted with somebody or something else. Um, it could also be, you know, an old friend or a family member or whatever, but okay. Um, <clears throat> or you could just be like, okay, you could be that you're at a place now where there's peace with all that happens. Okay. And all that will happen. Like you made it through that. You could make it through anything that you may have actually, this could, this can be indicative of you having healed from this situation and um, you've, you know, and you're okay. So you could in fact be approaching uh, challenges as opportunities here. Exactly. Cause you've got the, the ace of pentacles with a tower and it's like, and yet here you are, you know, with this two of cups and that's, that's like, um, that's things aligning, you know, that's a partnership. That's, that's uh, being in agreement because some kind of commitment. Okay. So this is about you knowing too, that you're always in the right place at the right time. Things to happen the way they were supposed to. Okay. So that's part of what's coming in with that message overall here. Here, let's see. Yeah. So, um, there's so there's another message here coming through that um this is capricorn energy here with the devil and it's um if being impatient right now could actually it's not going to help you at all basically is what it's saying <laughs> so temperance here uh things in moderation you want to avoid so the devil that's like when you're chained to you know unhealthy thought patterns habits uh bad situations it could also it could indicate like i said a capricorn or capricorn season but but it's really sort of being like chained against your will in a way and remember we talked about this earlier about breaking free from those uh shackles you're really you've released yourself from the control of someone else you have this divine support here you have wings here you have wings here and uh 
And this is about you having that. Uh, there's like a wellspring of opportunity. They just told me of hope, 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 hope. So hope. All right. So there's, uh, all right. So have that, having that hope means transition. Yeah. This is because this Archangel Azrael keeps coming back. So this is again, that change, this is just a uh, transition here. So making sure you're doing things all that you can to not go back into uh, old habits, routines, that sort of thing. I've got a loved one coming through. I'm sending you so much love here with the bunny. There's a rabbit here. Okay. Uh, I just heard Pluto as well. And snow, snow cone or something like a, maybe a name or snowy or something. Um, <clears throat> hmm. um, be careful of who you're mixing with, who you're mixing energies with, exchanging energies with. Just, you know, something else to be mindful of, because right now our energies could be a little sensitive. We're, we're very receptive right now, I think. Um, and I just feel as though you'll want to make sure that you're that you're doing what you can to have a nice strong boundary here, particularly in this transitional phase. But overall, well, OK, yes, overall, we have the star that is wish fulfillment. So moving out of this, this could actually be connected to this tower over here, uh, frankly. Um, and you realizing that you don't actually need another, like a physical partner, you're partnering with yourself with spirit. All right. And, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's allowed you to move forward here into where this, uh, Aquarius energy here, the star energy. So there's a lot of, um, two cups, two cups. So some of you could have, you know, two options, two love options, two, two things that, or a decision to make where whatever you do, it's emotional. Like it's going to be difficult either way, possibly. Um, there's, there's a need for healing here. Um, hope healing authenticity is coming through as well. Um, okay. And also you have someone sending you songs. All right. So listening to those lyrics in, in songs. Um, hmm. Again, I just heard it away we go. So somebody you're moving on. And then like with positivity, optimism too, this is, that's good. That's really good. Um, but you're, it's almost like you found this recipe or something, or that there's some kind of breakthrough. I, I feel, because remember your initial tarot card was an ace of swords and that is that break, the breakthrough, that clarity. Uh, you, you do have that opportunity coming in now. There's an opportunity, uh, yeah patience, wish fulfillment, dreams. Okay. Um, this is change in transition though. Definitely. There's so much, so many cards are indicating that very many cards are indicating that, but again, it's like, listen to your own voice. Cause it says you are that Oracle Libra. And I keep thinking of that card. It's like, you know, your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. You are that pillar of light. So rather than always like, you know, we look outside of ourselves, it's like, it's coming from within. Hmm. Some of you are feeling as though you are suspended in time. Almost like this, you know, with whatever is going on, it could feel as though, um, uh, just being in so much limbo too. But what can you do that you love while you're in limbo here? These, because these two characters that, you know, this pet temperance card looks pretty at peace. You know, it's almost like they know things are heading in the right direction. They're trying, because they know what they've done. They've thought of it. They've concocted what they want. They've made the recipe. They're kind of like, they put their wish in this giant ace of cups here. And then it comes through it, you know, and then say the star is where it's actually happened. Okay. Um, it's like you've been waiting for this opportunity to come in for some of you. In the meantime, make sure you're to do good self-care with whatever this is. You've got something good coming in here. I don't feel, I mean, I don't feel like you're going to expect it. Can certainly, again, the finance, let's see what else we have though. <clears throat> have courage, awaken the worry of light within you. So again, this is about you being that light. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> it's sort of, there's something almost groundbreaking. Okay. So I do feel is because I, I was feeling this sort of earlier too. Um, there's this, there's a groundbreaking opportunity heading straight for you. That's what it is. There is, there's some sort of, um, 
yeah, there's like an arrow of, um, of opportunity heading straight for you. I know it might sound kind of well, whatever. Um, but there's like this, this, there's, it's just, it's coming right for you. Now it's tough because, you know, like I say, I always say it's a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you. But for some of you, it's going to really be life altering, life changing. Like a complete, it's like, um, it's almost like a good tower. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You did in fact have the tower and then that went right into the two of cups, you know? So that could be almost like the reset that you needed. Following a time of something probably pretty emotional. All right. <clears throat> Let me see if there's anything else here. Let's get an animal card or two. You have the raccoon. So with, the, so you already had the wolf, you had the badger, you had like cow, dog, bat, and now you have raccoon. So with determination and resourcefulness, you can now create your dream scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because things are aligning. Hmm. Okay. You have the key to get yourself out of a difficult situation. That keeps coming in too. Oh, and look, and then you have dog. You keep having dogs show up. All right, so take that as it resonates. But your loyalty and love are your greatest gifts. So you're a true guardian of the heart. Yeah, okay. So, all right, let me see what else we get. Let me get a couple of numbers cards, and I think we'll we'll move away from, oh, two, three, three, two. So this is a sign to pursue your passion. It's about pursuing what you want most in life, right? Is this transition. Yeah, this transition is going to lead to, um, yeah, like a dream come true for some of you. Nice ace of pentacles. Oh, I love seeing that. And you have 727 and 1717. So you do have sevens as you always do. So go within, connect to the higher mission, listen to your own wisdom, Libra. It's time to inspire, teach, and heal others. And let's get you one more. Sign of Enlightenment card, 88. All right. So you had the sevens, you've got the eight. So this is about you achieving wisdom, finding success. Uh, and it has not been easy. All right. It's just, it has not been. Let me get you with something else here. What else do we have? Wild. Believe in your otherworldly beauty. Dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. Have empathy for yourself, Libra, not just for others, but for yourself. There's more beneath the surface with everybody, actually. Uh, so, you know, some of you will be called upon to assist somebody. And um, yeah, that's okay. So I think that's, that's good for those. Is there anything else that we haven't touched upon? Let's see what else like to know. Oh, nice, calm, open shores I'm getting. Okay. Oh, you know, um, let me see here. There's this card here peeking out. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Okay. Again, you're that pillar of light here. Oh yeah. Such high priestess energy too. My goodness. Okay. Hmm priestess and pillar of light. Wow. This is like really the card. This I feel like is, this is like sums up the reading. Your vibrations rising. You're the Oracle. Yeah. Anything else? Let's get a few more of these. We'll head out. All right. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. Okay. So somebody lived to be a hundred at least. Okay, I did hear that. <clears throat> or it's you. It went very peacefully. See the gift in the situation. You are going to be handed something that may not feel like an opportunity, as I've said, but it actually is. And like I said, it's almost like a good tower. It's a good tower. All right. It's that reset with this for this transition, this change. And it puts you in a much better position, Libra. Even though it doesn't feel like it. You might actually just be getting more clarity on your path. Or you may, uh, you know, it could be something like that, or it could just be like you're making room for for better, for better, really. And they're sending you numbers. So some of you are getting uh, numbers and songs. But there are other ways too. Um, 
they're telling me something about fireflies or fireflies in jars or something. Um, the lightning bugs. I don't know if you had a connection with somebody with the lightning bugs, but that's that's coming in too. Hmm. Write it down. Okay. Some of you, you're wondering about some like the, your advice is actually to write it down. Write it out. Write it out. So only take that as it resonates. That I know that's general, but it's it is a general reading. But that's like. I have to tell somebody to write it out. Make sure you're recording it. Keeping good records. Keep good records, okay? <laughs> so random. Some of you need a dental cleaning, <laughs> okay? So I think I'm picking up on someone's dentist appointment. <laughs> I love that when that happens. Lashandra? Chandra? Shawnee? Shawnee, Shauna. Huh, okay. And um, um any, any other messages here? I had I feel like I had uh one name trying to come out still. What do we have here? Bixby, Buxby, Bixby. And they're saying about putting it on loudspeaker. So maybe there's a there's gonna be a big announcement. Okay, some kind of big announcement here regarding anything. Doesn't have to be about Bixby or Buxby or whatever. And all right, I you know, I never know. I'm like, okay, I feel like the energy is still here, but it's sort of like quiet now. So um sometimes I'll give it a moment just to see if anybody if anybody else wants to come in last minute here. Because sometimes I'll get flooded with names at the end here and uh this to be kind of quiet all of a sudden. It was like really high energy earlier, if you could feel that, even with my own speech, and then it just sort of um it's like there's this calmness, this peace now that's entering into a situation, Libra. It could have felt really intense, very, um, uh, took a lot of energy. And then after I am getting a sense, you're going to be very tired after you're going to want to rest, but I feel as though you're going to be uh, more at peace um, than what you were, of course, going in. Dustin. All right. Well, Libra, um, I hope that that helped. And please do consider subscribing, liking, and uh, leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments. And of course, if they're if they're kind, I sometimes receive comments that aren't kind. Not from you, but because uh, if you made it this far, then you're a fan. And I appreciate you so much. But uh, yeah, so anyway, we'll keep positive. All right. So wishing you all the very best. And yeah, stay safe. Um, and I hope you're enjoying this start to spring. And and uh, of course, if you're going to be viewing that uh, eclipse, uh, total solar eclipse, make sure you have eye protection and all that stuff if you're going to even consider doing that. So, um, yeah, wishing you the best and have a wonderful week. And by the way, you have wishing well, more than week. This isn't a weekly. Wishing well, Libra. I'm wishing you well. And you do have this, like I said, this wellspring of opportunity and hope or something coming back in. And I heard Maggie. Maggie. All right. Thanks, Libra.